What's up coaches? Happy Friday, here we go. Make sure you designate your logistics and your lifting partner groups right from the start. This day has been um, our most jam-packed day. The setting up and warming up of the deadlift, the breaking down the deadlift. Uh, so just be prepared to be really on point with your time. The workout is really easy in terms of setup today, so I hope that helps. Um, but just make sure that you're really on point with your time and the timeline today um, to finish um, with respect to your members, all right? So explain the primary movement, the deadlift, talk about its intention and how it's gonna work out with the three tracks. Uh, demo that deadlift, have your folks do 10 reps. Make sure they grab the barbell they're gonna be lifting with, all right? So trap bar or straight bar before they start that warm up. And they're gonna have a PVC as well. They're gonna be doing a PVC press from split. Our skill today, always skill with our hinge base days, is gonna be developing the split jerk. So we're gonna do that from the start with the press from split during the warm up. When I say five plus five, what I'm referring to is I'm gonna be going five with the right leg in front from the split, and then I'm gonna be going five with the left leg from the split. You do not have to teach the split in detail before the warm-up begins. Talk about it super briefly, all right, and then coach it during the warm-up. While you're walking around, you can change people's stance and give them some pointers, and you'll have lots of time to coach it during the actual strength portion. So don't dive into a lengthy thing in that press from split. Just talk about what it looks like and then let people practice. Then we have mountain climbers, a two equals one, one, two, three and so on, all right? 10 minute AMRAP, they're building up that deadlift as they go. So our strength for the day, uh, this is a strength day uh, within the confines of our cycle. Uh, deadlifts, this is our third deadlift day. We're still within the same frame of 85%. We are working to add weight to the bar in comparison to our last deadlift session. Uh, heavy but perfect if people are unsure where they are within the frame of the cycle. Um, we're gonna be doing minute number two. We have 60 foot dumbbell waders walk. And the link that's provided for you guys has a kettlebell. I want this to be with a dumbbell, please. It's a lot easier for people to maintain a good position. All right, make sure you set the logistics for this right from the beginning, all right? Meaning that show people where they're gonna walk exactly um, and set the track for your class in terms of um, the, the floor setup. All right, um, 30 feet each arm, and then we have three tall jerk from forehead. So tall jerk from forehead, when you watch this video, you're gonna see the tall jerk in a couple different ways. But what we wanna do is the second variation that he shows, where they're pressing the PVC up to the forehead, which would mimic the dip in the drive, and now I'm gonna be dropping under, boom, into my split jerk position. So it's very similar to the snatch balance. It's really the snatch balance of the jerk, if that makes sense. I'm gonna be punching my hands and feet that are hitting at the same time. I'm working the speed and awareness of my footwork, and I'm really looking to develop the ability to get underneath the bar in the correct way, in the correct position with the split jerk, all right? Um, if the fitness group is not ready for that like, boom, impactful, um, movement, then you'll have them just continue to press from split with either a PVC or an empty bar during their strength. All right, let's talk about your workout. So our workout here, we have just a, a partner-based interval rowing piece. This is gonna be four max distance. We're gonna put 12 minutes on the clock, and then we're gonna go three, two, one with our minutes. So partner one is gonna row for three minutes directly into partner two for three minutes. Two minutes, two minutes, one minute, one minute. Uh, the partners will uh, switch at the designated intervals and they're going to keep a running distance total from start to finish. Make sure you count down uh, that five to seven seconds so that first partner is rowing, clock hits 255, we're switching in five, four, three, that gives them a chance to get out and that second partner to get in, make that quick transition directly into that next interval. So I gave you kind of a percentage based output three intervals at 85 to 90, or excuse me, the three minute intervals should be at 85 to 90 with long smooth pulls. 
Then the two minute interval at 90 to 95% now with long but very powerful pulls. The one minute interval, uh, empty the tank. This is high stroke right now for max power. Right? So each time we get on the rower, we're increasing our output. All right. Um, no need for a primer here unless you need to practice logistics um, or like switching in some way. Athletes should be good. Um, on the minute, there should be teamed up at different on the minute stations for the strength and for the workout just super easy with the setup on the on the single rower so the a transition from unloading the deadlifts and putting everything up we should be able to fit this in time wise it should work a little bit better um, than the previous deadlift day where we did the snatch balances and everything was a little bit rushed all right hope you guys enjoy the day have a great friday see you later